Are you excited to learn more about the potential of crypto becoming a world currency? Cryptocurrencies have been gaining traction in the financial world, but could they become a global currency? In today's video, we'll explore the idea of a world government controlling a global cryptocurrency network. We'll look at the pros and cons of such a system, as well as the feasibility of it happening in the future. Stick with us to find out more about this fascinating topic. Hello, and welcome to Prime Time TV. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to receive more amazing content. How are cryptocurrencies doing now? In just a few years, cryptocurrencies have gone from being digital oddities to being trillion-dollar technologies that could change the way the world's financial system works. Right now, Bitcoin and hundreds of other cryptocurrencies are held as investments and used as money to buy a wide range of goods and services like software, digital real estate, and illegal drugs. To their supporters, cryptocurrencies are a democratizing force, taking the power of money creation and influence away from central banks and Wall Street. Critics, on the other hand, say that the lack of rules for cryptocurrencies gives criminals, terrorists, and rogue states more power, while the assets themselves increase inequality, have very volatile markets, and use up a lot of electricity. When you look at it, there are a lot of different rules around the world. Some governments support cryptocurrencies, while others ban or restrict their use. As of February 2023, 114 countries, including the United States, were thinking about starting their own central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, to compete with the rise of cryptocurrencies. Why are they popular? Once thought of as a side interest of tech leaders, cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, have skyrocketed to mainstream popularity and are now worth trillions of dollars. In November 2021, the price of Bitcoin jumped to more than $60,000 for the first time. By February 2023, it had dropped to $23,000. As of mid-2022, about 20% of US adults polled by NBC News had invested in, traded, or used cryptocurrency. How about you? Did you invest in cryptocurrency? Tell us in the comments. Different currencies have different appeals, but cryptocurrencies are popular because they are decentralized. This means that they can be transferred quickly and anonymously, even across borders, without a bank that could block the transaction or charge a fee. Bitcoin has gained popularity among populist leaders in countries with historically weak currencies, such as several Latin American and African countries. El Salvador made headlines in 2021 when it became the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender. Residents can now pay taxes and settle debts with Bitcoin, but the move has sparked protests. Some politicians in other parts of the region have said they support the idea. What challenges has this created? Cryptocurrencies have also given governments a new set of problems to deal with, such as concerns about criminal activity, environmental damage, and consumer protection. You may be aware that in recent years, cybercriminals have increased their use of ransomware attacks, in which they infiltrate and shut down computer networks before demanding payment, often in cryptocurrency, to restore them. There is also a lot of volatility and a lack of regulation. Due to the rapid growth of cryptocurrencies and DeFi businesses, billions of dollars are now being traded in a sector that isn't very well regulated. This raises concerns about fraud, tax evasion, cybersecurity, and the overall stability of the financial system. Suppose cryptocurrencies become the most common way to pay around the world. In that case, it could make it harder for central banks, especially those in smaller countries, to set monetary policy by controlling the money supply. What are governments doing about this? Many governments have stayed out of crypto, but its rapid rise and change and the rise of DeFi have forced regulators to start making standards for this new sector. Regulations are very different worldwide, with some governments embracing cryptocurrencies and others outlawing them altogether. Experts say the challenge for regulators is to make rules that limit traditional financial risks without stifling innovation. In the United States, policymakers have said they are slowly taking steps to regulate cryptocurrencies and the new DeFi sector. But cryptocurrencies don't fit neatly into the rules that are already in place. 
This creates ambiguity that lawmakers will likely have to clear up. The government has gone after the exchanges that let people change cryptocurrencies into US dollars and other national currencies to stop illegal activities. Under pressure from regulators, major exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, and Gemini follow to know your customer and other rules to stop money laundering. What is a central bank digital currency? In an effort to show their self-governance, many central banks, including the US Federal Reserve, are thinking about making their own digital cash. This is called a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. For crypto users, CBDCs promise the speed and other benefits of cryptocurrency without the risks. They are currently being looked into by dozens of countries, which together make up more than 90% of the global economy. 11 countries have fully started CBDC. All are low income, and 10 are in the Caribbean with Nigeria being the 11th. Since China started testing a digital yuan in 2019, the CBDC pilot program is expected to be expanded to all of China's over 1 billion people by the end of 2023. In the United States, Fed officials don't seem to agree on whether or not a digital dollar is needed. The possibilities for crypto are endless, and the potential for it to become a world currency controlled by the world government is real. What are your thoughts on government-controlled crypto? Do you think it is possible? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.